For the purposes of the record here, can you please state your name in full? Martha Goldenbogen Ship. Thank you. This Veterans uh, History Project interview is taking place on Tuesday afternoon, May 17th in the year 2005. This afternoon, this interview was being conducted in the large meeting room. Uh, today's uh, interview is uh, historic in its own way as we are interviewing our first lady veteran of uh, World War II, uh, Martha uh, Goldenbogen. Um, and what's also interesting about this interview is that uh, um, Martha Goldenbogen um, is now married and her last name is Ship. And uh, uh, Mrs. Ship is the wife of uh, Bill Ship, who we had the uh, good fortune to interview uh, last month for the Veterans History Project. So uh, the Ships will be our first uh, team, our first husband and wife team, although they were not husband and wife at that time, uh, that we've interviewed here. So uh, um, their perspectives will be uh, interesting on, on World War II. Um, my name is, uh, is Neil O'Shea. And I'm going to move on now to the first uh, uh, general question. Um, Martha, what branch of service did you uh, serve in? The United States Cadet Nurse Corps. I see. And um, I'm guessing, like so many of our uh, veterans, um, you were probably a recent high school graduate or at the time of the war or? How did you come to be? If you I, I was, um, I worked for three years after graduating from high school before I went into the Corps. And was that in a medical field? No. It was an electrical service. And then the In other words, it was the Detroit Edison Company. The Detroit Edison Company. Yes. And then how did you wind up going from the Detroit Edison Company to the Harper Hospital, it says here? <laughs> well, I heard about the core, and so I th was sitting there in the office, and I, I thought maybe I could do better. So when I heard about it, I investigated it and decided to go. And this involved um, young women um, from any particular background or field um, joining this court yes. to develop more nursing personnel? Or? Yeah, we were to become registered nurses at the end of our three years. So you, you had to undertake three years training then to? Yes. And I suppose while you're undergoing training, you're also working in a in a hospital too. Definitely. Yeah. We were, we had um, our classes were part of the day, and the rest of the day to make up an eight-hour day, we worked in the hospital with the patients. And that was there at Harper Hospital in in Detroit. Yes. And were any of those patients uh, veterans or? No. Was there a national shortage of nurses at the time of the war or because of the war? Yes. You think? A lot of the nurse, registered nurses had gone into the service. And more or less, the students kept the hospital going. So. Um, you ask about, uh, were, did we work with veterans? The last six months, I worked in the Veterans Hospital in Maywood. You're in Maywood, Illinois? Yes. Yeah. So were you transferred then from Harper Hospital in Detroit to Maywood, Illinois? or? It wasn't really a transfer. 
we could make, um, we had a choice of what kind of um, nursing we wanted to go into in the last six months. And that was one of our choices. And you chose a the veterans. The veterans. Yes. And so do you, did you find the training difficult at, at the Harper Hospital? Or was it? Well, no, I, I don't think so. We, it might have been a little hard to get back to the books after being yeah. away three years, but other than that. No. Had you enjoyed uh, biology or science in high school? Yeah, I took uh, biology in high school. So that probably helped a little bit, I'm guessing. Well, probably. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you you uh, arrive in uh, in Heinz then? Would that have been in um, yes 1940? Oh, let's see. 46 <laughs> or 47? 47. 47. It would have been the last six months. So let's see, would have been um, to back up to six months from September. <laughs> April, May, June. We must have went in April from April through September. And uh, so from April through September of, of 47, then, Seven. you were, you might have been helping or ministering to, uh, you were veterans who had served yeah, the they were overseas. All they veterans. were all veterans at that hospital. From yes. the European and Pacific theaters both, or? Uh, no, I don't, I think they were mostly, some of them were World War One. Oh, of course. And could yeah. be World War Two. A lot of them were uh, old, older veterans. Any any particular ones that you remember that had great stories or were? Uh, well, the one uh, young man that I really remember, it was unique because he was a paraplegic. And I don't know, he had been there for some time. And uh, he always was in bed. He never sat up. He couldn't anymore. His was rather stiffened. His muscles didn't work anymore. But one thing he did was he painted. And he learned to hold the brush in his teeth. Wow. And they would set up a stand over top of him and he would communicate his pictures through that. He also could talk. I think he, uh, his accident was that he jumped into a pool and I guess he hit his head at the bottom of the pool. Was that while he was in the service? Or? I think so, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, Heinz, uh, Heinz Hospital is still an important uh, service center these days for veterans. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a lot smaller, though, I think. Is it smaller now? Yeah, because Loyola is out there now. Mm -hmm. And they have taken over a lot of those buildings. Graduated. Okay. Continuing, continuing on with our, our interview now, and um, uh, I may not have mentioned, but um, uh, Martha's husband Bill is also present at our table here, and um, uh, Bill has suggested that we we ask his wife Martha about a chemistry course. So I. Well, I didn't take chemistry in high school. And that was one of the things I had to have to get into nursing was chemistry. So I went back to the high school 
and I talked to the chemistry teacher, and he happened to be the same one that was there when I was in the school, but uh, he gave me private chemistry lessons after I finished work. I would go to the school and we would do experiments. He sometimes had them. Part of it set up already, so it wouldn't take so long to get going. And so I spent a few months with him taking chemistry. That made it for a long day. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was before dinner. <laughs> before dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you didn't blow up anything in his house, or <laughs> sodium, or no? It was uh, no. I um, I went to the high school and had the oh, the lab was surviving. Had, I had my lessons there in the high school. So did you enjoy being back in high school? <laughs> did you feel funny? <laughs> I don't know. I was I was the only one there, so it didn't make any yeah. difference. <laughs> now, was that in Michigan? That high school was. Uh, yes. Yeah. Where I went to school. Yeah. Detroit, Detroit area. Or? No, that's. Um, I grew up in Mount Clemens, which was twenty miles north of Detroit. Now the. Um, you were kind enough, and Bill was kind also to retrieve them for us. These these pictures of um, uh, of yourself in uniform. Um, so, did were these the uniforms that you wore all the time that you were on 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 duty? Oh no. No, we wore regular school uniforms on duty. We sometimes, not too often, we would wear these uniforms when we went out. So how 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 the United States uh, Cadet Nurse Corps was that that was then founded after the war began is it like forty one or forty two or I would presume so but I'm not sure uh, and I wonder did it continue after the war or was it pretty much a World War II phenomenon it was uh, no it didn't continue after those who were already signed up finished their course. And then I don't think there was any more after that. So did you stay um, in the field of, of nursing as an RN then after, after the your time at uh, the yes. hospital? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you felt your training that you received was uh, first was, class and it was very good. Very good. What were some of the other um, um, students like in the in the um, in the class and at the uh, in Detroit Harper Hospital? Were they all? We were a mixture of uh, recent high school graduates and some of us who had graduated previously. And were you all Midwesterners or? No. We had Canadian girl in our class. We had a girl from, I remember, from Texas. So were there other training centers in the United States, other campuses, as it were, for this? Uh... Oh, yes. The bigger hospitals in Detroit all had them. Every hospital? Yeah. Anymore. A friend of mine was, she was, uh, she trained at Ford Hospital, Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit. So. The bigger hospitals in Detroit had them. So, could you have gone into the? Um, could you have specialized in service to, to veterans and stayed in the Detroit area, or did you have to go to, uh, to Hines and Maywood for for that placement? We had to go. There were different um, sections of the United States cities that had um, veterans. Uh, there was one in Detroit, and I know there was one in Indianapolis, and we had no choice which one we were going to is which ever one they sent us to. So and they, there was probably others around the United when, States. When they say United States Cadet Nurse Corps, it sounds sort of it sounds like a branch of service. Do they have ranks? Do they have corporates or no. corporals and nothing, privates? Nothing like that. Nothing no. like that. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. They don't 
pin wings on you or something when no, you graduate? Or no, no. <laughs> we, we didn't get that. We only got our school pin, which is on the picture here. Okay. And we got our school diploma. Did you? Did and you? that had not, didn't say anything about being in the United States yeah. Cadet Nurse Corps. Did you stay in, in touch with any of the other nurses that you went through training with? Or? Oh, yes. We, uh, I have some dear friends, uh, close friends, and then there was, um, we used to have a reunion. I can't remember what year we had the first one, but after that first one, we had them every five years, we would get together, and we are st still <laughs> getting together. Was it 2000 or 2001 we had the last one? I don't remember. Two, three. I think it was 2001 because remember we talked it over and we decided since the group was getting smaller and smaller that maybe we should have them more often. And then we uh, they decide we'd have them two years, but I don't know what happened because we didn't have it <laughs> in the two Were years. Were they in the Chicago area then, the, the reunions? Or? Yeah, the reunions are always in, no, have them in Detroit. In Detroit? Yeah. And those started like in 1950 or? I don't remember the first one. But they've been, that's wonderful, I think. That's the yeah. But some of us, uh, are getting disabled and can't come anymore that far because uh, the girls live all over the United States now and so and the last time I don't know how many we have we didn't have too many the last time 15? 15 or 20 something like that it was down to 15 or 20 so you like the soldiers, you had a great sense of camaraderie too. Then you're yes. going through this mm -hmm. uh, different experience at a formative time in your right. lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your your wartime career, it was responsible for you having that career. Then after the after the war, um, now um, of course it probably wouldn't be necessary. But the GI Bill wouldn't have applied in your situation, would it? Or would no. it have? No. No. Mm -mm. That wouldn't at all. Not at all. We were only signed up for the duration of the war or if the war was still uh, going on, we would have to stay in essential nursing. But as soon as the war was over, we were, as far as we were, our commitment was nil then so none of your it was it was it was uh, um, part of the terms of your um, yes signing up as it were that you didn't go overseas or no could, we not, didn't not, have to did any of your friends wind up going overseas and not that i know of and but see the war was over right before we got out before you got graduated yeah that's right because you so. graduated in 47. 47. And um, the training at the hospital, was there, was, that, was there a tuition? Did you have to pay fees for that or was... The government supplied it. Government supplied it because they needed you. They supplied our uniforms. They paid the hospital for room and board and training. No. And we and they gave us a small stipend. Now, some of the the gentlemen that we've interviewed, they say that this time in their lives it was, uh, you know, it was difficult, but it probably was among the best times in their lives that they, they experienced so much and they had a a lot of fun and all kinds of different experiences. But it was never forgetting about the, the, the danger of it, but it was, uh, they wouldn't trade the experience for anything. Mm -hmm. did, did you, would you say that your years in the 
your training years were kind of a special yeah, time in your life were, and yeah they, we we had fun with <laughs> fun times too <laughs> could have fun in detroit and <laughs> ah yes <laughs> so um you stayed then in 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 illinois then you didn't go back to michigan after your your required service or whatever at, at, at Heinz then or oh, no from Heinz I went back and I was at my um, at Harper Hospital for mm, nine months or so and then I took a position in Colorado Nothing to do with veterans, uh, nope. the war effort, no, so but is. but again in the in the nursing yes in the nursing yeah. field. Right. So you you had to under you had to undergo training for three years. Yes. And then your commitment was until the war was over. Until the war was over, but the government would take care of our um, training till we finished. They paid our way. Until we got through. So, Let's see when when did, was the war over in June? August of forty-five. August of forty-five. Mm -hmm. you know, see, we didn't graduate until September of forty-seven. So, did you? Um, do you remember where you were when you heard that the war was over in Europe, or that the war was over in the Pacific, or that they had dropped the bomb, or? <coughs> Yeah. Why? Um, I was on um, three center in the hospital, and some people had the radios on. And that's how we found out no we were working. <laughs> and were there a lot of yippee or yahoo or oh yes <laughs> people were excited <laughs> yeah so do you, do you think that um i'm just wondering the the, the contributions that the um, women made it home on the home front during the war. I have a sense that maybe they're not fully known or appreciated as perhaps as they should be. I don't, I, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I, I had sisters who worked in the uh, automobile factories making parts for um, different vehicles. For the Army or? or the yeah. Army, Navy, whatever they needed, and do they continue on that way after the war was over? That went. You mean my sister? Yes, yes. The ladies who were filling in on the assembly line, or what? If that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how long the girls were there. Probably until their uh, husbands came home, because all of them were married the time before except Marie she she wasn't married at that time yeah, it's, it's it's interesting in the case of um, interviewing um, the gentlemen that uh, some of them come most of them come from families of other siblings and all their brothers are were in the army or the services, and then in your case, your sisters—they also were helping out in the service. One of them, but yeah, they on, all, the, on the assembly line or wherever. They all went to work in uh, wartime factories. Wartime factories. Yeah, so one of them was in the was in the automobile or the vehicle production, and I think they all worked because they worked in the same place. And that would all have been in, I suppose, the Detroit area, which was yes. a, a hub or yeah. for Yeah, on the outside of Detroit. On the outside yeah. of Detroit. Mm -hmm. So how do you, um, those were different times, I imagine. I mean, that, 
Yep. The war, gen the war generation. Definitely. Yeah. How do you think it? There was no men around. <laughs> was that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> So do you remember the last day that you worked at, at uh, in the as a cadet uh, nurse? That would have been back in yeah forty seven. Back in Detroit then, or yeah, I suppose it's the same. It would have been September the twelfth, nineteen forty seven. And then how I went to the director's office and she handed me my diploma and my pen and I was free. <laughs> I was out of school. <laughs> yeah. You must have had a sense of accomplishment. I mean, you had Definitely. earned an RN and graduated. Definitely. Yeah. 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 And then from there, you how long was it before you, did you mention you went to Colorado then? Or? Yeah, I, I worked in the hospital there. For and how long before you went to Colorado from? from Michigan? Um, about nine months. Nine months. Mm -hmm. So w was it easy to get a, to find a nursing job at that time? Oh, yeah. Or was it a case where everybody there was, were, there RNs were, were coming back from overseas? or There were ads in the paper. Ads for the for paper. Papers, for seems like mm -hmm. we still need, there's always, seems like there's always a need for good nurses. Yeah. No, there still is. I think so. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. One time, though, wasn't a few years back that they had too many? It wasn't too long ago that they had too many nurses, and now they're crying for them again. So, so you didn't meet your husband, Bill, and that didn't have anything to do with the, uh, you didn't meet him in, 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 in uh, it wasn't a war-related uh, meeting, it wasn't it? Well, <laughs> a little, <laughs> yes. Uh, my roommate in the corner here, she introduced me to him. Uh, she met her husband when we were in Maywood, and he was a buddy of her husband, and so when they got married, we stood up for their wedding. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if Bill knew then, huh? <laughs> I'm sure he thereafter. I don't know. I was on my way out to Colorado. Colorado yeah. <laughs> so that wedding was in Michigan then? or? Yeah. yeah. Two weeks after that wedding, I went to Colorado. And uh, did you find a lot of your conversations were about the war then when you were dating or? I don't think so. Yeah, we talked too much about that, no. Three. <laughs> Very good. Um, I think we're moving a little bit toward the end of the interview. Is there anything that I haven't asked that I should have asked, or something that I don't? I don't think so. Um, mm -mm. Ask about her specialty. Of course, I'm sorry. So, what was your specialty, uh, Martha? Oh, I was um, an operating room nurse. Oh. Um, I enjoyed that very much. And when I, after I left Detroit, I went to smaller hospitals. And being in smaller hospitals, we got to do different things than you do when you go to a large hospital. So there were times I would assist when we were short of interns 
and some hospitals I went to didn't have insurance. Mm. So. so you're not squeamish or excited <laughs> no. blood or anything? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah. That and was the best part of training. And the doctor asked for a scalpel. That's yeah. Yeah, you know, and other times we assisted him and. Someone else was standing next to me, handing me instruments. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so did you continue in that specialty after the, after the yeah. war? You were always an operating room nurse then? Or? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you work in the Chicago area at any, any hospitals as an operating nurse? Or? No. no. But you're probably a pretty handy person to have around the house, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I ought to do about this? You know? He's a handy person <laughs> around the house. <laughs> is, he, is he good with injuries and cuts or whatever? Uh, no, 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 he's not good with that. <laughs> There's some unsung heroes that you hardly hear about. And one was a teacher who taught her chemistry. And how much did he charge her? Nothing. He charged you nothing. Mm -hmm. So he was making a contribution to the to the war effort. Can we say his name? Is it okay? Or? I don't know. I, I guess I would rather not. Oh, okay. But, uh, anyway, the faculty at that particular high school were a great uh, it's been a good bunch of yeah. people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Martha and I were talking before the interview, and I was saying it, it seems in the case of a lot of the veterans, they had all had wonderful high school educations. Uh, it really meant something to have a diploma, mm -hmm. to think what they, came, what they faced when they came out and how they handled it. Yeah. Any other heroes we should mention or anything? Or? I don't think so. Was your family surprised here that you were going into nursing? They I really don't know what they thought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything was ever said. You know, I said, came home and said I was going. She quit her job. <laughs> I told her, I came home and told them I was going to go to nursing school. So and that was it. Yeah, did it. So was it, I mean, I don't mean to be personal, you graduated in 47 and you married Bill in a few years after that, or? Um, four years? Yeah, the third time we met. <laughs> you can take this off the okay, record. Okay. <laughs> So Martha, as we're winding up here again, I was just wondering, um, you were mentioning about your, the commitment that was expected of you by the government, and uh, the contract called for you to work as a nurse at, up, upon the completion of your training until the duration of the war? Yes. Or? We had to work in essential nursing. Uh, until the war was over. So the end of the war, that uh, yeah, <laughs> I have another, celebrate too. another year and a half or something, I think, yeah. or before I was finished. But the government supplied our dates and paid, you knew it paid for our training. You knew it wasn't going to go one day beyond the, the three years because the war was over, right? No. Yeah. Well, if, we, if there's anything you want to uh, add to the, the interview, we can. Um, I don't think so. I, but we covered most I, of it, I think. I think 
think so. Thank you very much for, uh, okay. for being our first lady interviewee, and uh, thank you, Bill, for being here and helping to mediate <laughs> the proceedings a little bit, and help help me out. Uh, so that concludes this interview. Thank you.